8.4 client server communication model the last video of this class this is a short one only one slide but the concept is very important so we still we need to spend several minutes to learn this concept all right client server model communication model so let's look at this picture. So he, from this simple picture, you can see we have a client here. We have server here. In the middle, network communication, right? So here, a client requests a connection to a server. In order to do communication, a connection should be established. At the beginning, there is no connection between client and server. Okay, no connection. No, yeah, because at the beginning, the client can send a request to the server. All right, but after that, the server needs to return response back to the client. But the question is, how can you return that response to the same client that sends a request? How do you know that? Okay. So the only way you can do that, you need to establish a connection. Make a connection. So then the response can send through that connection. Yeah. Okay. Can go back to the original point. Right? So you can go back to the original. Yeah. All right. So the server can either accept or reject the connection. Yeah. Sometimes the server needs to reject certain requests for security reason okay yeah so now we consider the acceptance situation so the connection is accepted all right then the server establishes and maintains a connection with the client so there is a physical connection yeah so the physical means there is a channel, a channel, okay, explicitly established, okay. But how do we understand this channel thing? Yeah. In the server, inside the server memory, computer memory, there is a connection object must be created for that particular connection. Okay, yeah. So there is object. That object takes memory resource. So that's our understanding of that connection. Okay. All right. The server returns a response to the client because the server needs to provide some service, valuable business service as that response. Yeah to that client yeah. request response request response so that one cycle one request response pair form a communication cycle yeah. that disconnects the connection immediately as soon as the server sends the response back to the client the connection is cut off immediately why is that why is that because the main reason is save resource in order to save resource to the reason the cut off that connection as I said, each connection takes up certain amount of memory space. 
in the server. Okay? But you can imagine there could be large number of clients sending requests to one server simultaneously. Okay? Each client, each client, they need a, a connection object. Then, inside the memory of the server, there are a large number of connection objects using a lot of memory. If one client completes one communication cycle, if the server does not release the resource, cutting off, let's release the resource. Then, quickly, the memory resource will run out inside the server then the performance will be slower and slower all right so that's the reason you have to cut off the connection immediately all right so this picture similar diagram but the only difference is here is using HTTP client, HTTP server. The communication all based on the HTTP protocol. So we emphasize that part. Okay. Yeah. So for this class, we only study HTTP protocol. So other protocol, you know, FTP protocol, you know, set email, email, there are several protocols. We don't study those protocols. We only focus on HTTP protocol. Okay. So next, how do we find the server? We need an address, right? We need to find a server. We need an address. How do we send request to a server? Okay. The client needs to send a request to a server. The server has an address. Okay. Yeah. Here you can see we use URL we type URL in the web browser bar, enter, the request is sent to the server. Okay. That simple. Yeah. All right, so let me stop uh, our last video and we complete this class.